Hi, uh, that's a video on the Practicus referral unit. Uh, we'll start referrals by clicking on the Referrals tab. And the Referrals tab would contain three screens, Referral Clinic, Referral Providers, and Referral Management. So in the Referral Clinics, we can manage the clinics we are referring to or get referrals from. Each clinic will list the providers uh, who are associated with this particular clinic. Um, we can create a new clinic or we can find a clinic using a search um, input box. So I'm just trying to find a radiology clinic. So if you can, cannot find a particular clinic, uh, we can always create a new entry by clicking Add New Clinic and we can fill in uh, the information uh, regarding uh, that particular clinic we are referring to or getting referral from. Uh, the only compulsory field is um, uh, the clinic's name. All the other fields are, are optional. So you can um, add phone numbers, fax, email um, addresses. Um, the phone numbers at the moment um, are localized to um, the system, uh, sorry, to the country you're using it from. So um, uh, by default, I have here Australian, Australian numbers. Um, there's a suburb lookup. Again, if you are in, in, in any other country uh, but Australia, uh, you will not have a suburb lookup and, and the address panel may be different according to the address uh, formats your country is using. You can record the website and you can record a little note about this clinic um, if you need to. Um, that will all be um, kept um, in this, in this um, uh, screen and uh, that screen will also be available for editing at a later stage if you need to update or, or, or change particular information um, about it, this particular clinic. So I've called my clinic Main Testing Clinic. At this point of time, this clinic has no providers associated with it. It's just the, the address of the clinic. And you can see I can edit that. Um, I can add some other notes. Or if I need to delete the clinic, I can click on Delete button and remove um, that clinic um, from my records whatsoever. Um, I'll go to the referral clinic providers and I will create a provider and associate it with, this, with the clinic. You can see I can also find the providers by um, their name, so I just filtered um, uh, the list of providers <coughs> uh, by the name of Smith. And, and you can see also um, all the patients that were referred to or referred from are that particular provider. So um, some, you see some, some providers don't have patients, some providers have a few. So what I'll do, I'll create a new provider by clicking Add New Provider. So put a title. The first name and last name are compulsory fields. In this one, all the other fields are optional. And so I'll call my doctor, Dr. Werner. Um, Let's call him Gustav. So, Werner Gustav, occupation uh, is an optional thing. I can call the therapist. Um, if a doctor has uh, a telephone number and a fax number different from the number numbers of the clinic he or she works at, uh, we can enter them there, as well as the email address. So, these are private email address, private phone and private fax, as well as a private note about this particular 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 provider. I can then look up for uh, the clinic, uh, existing clinic I have records uh, of, and you can see if I type test, uh, the main test clinic comes up. So I can press on that button that now appears in the clinic input box and add that clinic to this provider. In other words, associate that provider with this clinic. I can double click on the provider field, uh, provider number field there and enter the provider number uh, for that particular clinic, or I would rather say for that provider who works at that particular clinic. There may be more than one clinic, uh, one provider associated with, and the provider may have different provider numbers at different clinics. So I did a lookup on the fiberglass uh, consultants and couldn't find them uh, in my lookup, so what I did, I have pressed the button to create a new clinic record. So I could have done it from the management panel, but I did it right here from um, you know the provider provider um, uh, input input screen. Um, in fact, you can do it vice versa. In the provider, you can create a clinic, and in the clinic, you can create a provider, and you can also do it while registering a referral 
um, in, uh, in the referral management screen of the patient file. So I'm just entering some information about the fiberglass glass consultants company and I will place them in, in Caulfield, um, Victoria um, and uh, will not write any notes or any website. I'll just save that info and you will see that the fiberglass consultants are immediately end, uh, added to the uh, provider's record. I will update the provider number for this clinic and now I have provider associated with two clinics, main testing clinic and the fiberglass consultants, each clinic having different provider number for this particular person. If I need to remove a clinic from a provider record, I can select a clinic and click on that minus button right above the, the clinics, clinics table. So that would just remove uh, the association of this provider with that particular clinic. So I can update any other information I need to and uh, save it. Now, this provider has no patients uh, referred to or referred by him. So what we can do, uh, we can go to um, a patient record or, or let's say let's go to an appointment book and create a referral or register, I would rather say a referral, with this particular prov provider for patient Strauss Rowan. So I'll go to the patient navigator and click on the referrals button. So he has no referrals at the moment, so I will just add a new referral. When I add a new referral, I can select the type of the referral, incoming or outgoing referral, so in or out referral. You will notice that the provider to and provider from will actually swap uh, depending on the type you choose. I can enter a reference number, optional. I can select the date of the referral, also optional. Select an optional method. So method of delivery, let's say it was received by mail, to a lookup on the provider in my database. So let's say it'll be Dr. Werner Gustav from Main Testing Clinic, because I have him as Dr. Gustav of Fiberglass and Main Testing. I can select the provider I'm referring to, so or the referral is actually addressed to, so that would be Dr. Martha Fragens. I can select a reason. Uh, again, this is optional, a reason for the referral, and I can select the status. Statuses are fully customizable. You can create your own statuses in the uh, management panel of the statuses. I can upload the files to my referral. I can scan them using a scanner, or I can create a new document for my um, uh, referral. Uh, so what I'll do, I will just at the moment upload a, a simple um, JPEG or image um, from just my desktop, um, just to, um, uh, to show how the, the images, images would work. So I'll just select one and uh, write a little note if I need to. I can select multiple images as well and upload multiple images. And this image now is associated with this particular referral. It is also visible in the patient communication file, but uh, it'll be filtered out or singled out here. Uh, in this particular referral. I can also create a new communication documents and as I said I can do uh, a scan. You can select a category for your referral. Um, useful thing because you can filter them by the by the category. They're fully customizable. I've just liked the orthodontic. You can create your own categories yourself. Um, so you will actually see all that information in the in the table of your um, of the patient's referrals. So I'll go back to uh, the management and we can now see that Dr. Werner Gustav has Strauss Rowan as a referred patient. And we can further manage the referral by um, applying some changes. So let's say I may change the status of the referral to scheduled. I can write a little note saying that uh, you know, I've made an appointment with this, with this patient. Or, as I said, statuses are completely uh, customizable. You can create your own statuses and, and just select uh, any, any you like. Um, and I will just save uh, the changes, um, changes to my referral. Uh, you can see every time I make a change uh, to a status, it records a log. I can also mark that as a successful um, a referral or mark it as a closed referral. So again, all those um, uh, tags or flags uh, uh, are useful when it comes to finding, searching, or filtering your, your referrals. So you may only want to see the closed referrals or you may want to see the successful referrals. So if in the referral management, if we look at the referrals for the past month, we should see 
uh, the referrals, the referral with uh, the last one, in fact, is Strauss Rowan. Uh, referral, all the other referrals are referrals with other patients. I can find the referral by the referral number, so or by or by a reason. So I can type there, let's say one, two, three, and it will find me uh, the the last referral with uh, with with Roman Strauss. I can also uh, filter them by, um, as I said, the reason, whatever the reason there might be, or I can do it by an internal provider, so by, by one of the providers, providers uh, uh, of our staff. So let's say I will select the, the um, referrals from Dr. Martha Fragens, and it will, will, on, it will filter out all the referrals uh, that were actually assigned to her or to Simon. I can select them all and show them for all. I can select an external provider and filter out, and you can see there's only one uh, referral for uh, Werner Gustav. I can select again all the providers. I can filter it by the state in progress, closed, or show both. I can filter them by success or not success. Uh, I can filter them by the type, incoming, outgoing, I can filter them by the category, by status, and as well as by the method of delivery. Or I can do it in any combination of those. So I may only select, for example, a referral from a particular provider that are successful and that are orthodontic or something like that. And, and it will filter out. At the bottom of the, of the table that lists the referrals, you can see the total. So that, that just lists how many um, uh, referrals are in that particular list. We can click on the referral and, and proceed to it and, and, and make changes. So we can change the status, uh, so let's say draft done, and uh, we can just say write that, you know, written a draft of my report or something like that. And you can create um, uh, a report draft from the communication by clicking new document, Go either select uh, an existing template that you have may have already prepared, or create a new template. So I'll just put the practice uh, practice logger and just type some text. This is you know my draft, for example, and I can save um, that draft uh, for my uh, for my further use because I may come and edit that draft later and then change the status of my referral to a new status uh, saying the draft is completed or something like that. So um, you see there's now a new blank document there um, that is available to me from the referrals. And I can edit that document, uh, make changes, change the status of, 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 of this referral um, and uh, you know proceed with it. Okay, let's go and um, get this referral back again and uh, update, uh, let's say, report uh, in, the, in the referral. So I'll just uh, double click on the document and uh, modify the text um, I need to, to, to edit. And then I can uh, save uh, the latest edition. I can change the status of my referral um, to indicate that I have completed completed um, uh, the report and um, close it.